Hello everybody, welcome to my playthrough of Mortal Kombat X or Mortal Kombat 10 depending on where you're coming from. Um, now this will be an ongoing playthrough, and I'm just going to close down the music here so you can hear me better. Ongoing playthrough of the game. We're going to start off with the campaign and then do a bit of playing around with the different characters, possibly some online play, the living towers which you can see up there. So it's all going to be good, hopefully. Now. I will warn you straight away that I am a complete amateur. <laughs> I'm not a big expert in these kind of games and I'm likely to get my ass kicked from five ways from Sunday. But I'm a big fan of Mortal Kombat and well, yeah, a big fan of Mortal Kombat, the first few games, and then of course Mortal Kombat 9, which did a complete reboot of the game, and I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant way of doing it. It's, you know, getting new players on board, but also getting the fans of Mortal Kombat to enjoy the game and can't disagree with it, it was a brilliant game, enjoyed it immensely, got okay, you know, but nothing, I'm nothing special. So I'm going to enjoy this game hopefully and play all kinds of different aspects of it. I've heard some good things about it, I've also heard some bad things about it which I'm about to get into in just a minute, Namely, mainly the release. Now obviously I'm not playing it on release day, thank god, because this is on PC, and if you know anything about the PC release, there was a huge, huge balls up. Okay, long story short, and I'm going to say talk about it right now. This game came out on Steam, 14th April. So, just like all the console counterparts, it all came out at the same time. The difference for Steam was that the content had to be downloaded independently, in little packs, which was all good. But the downside to it was that you obviously had to wait for these packs to come, to come out. So April, come April 14th, the preload was 3 gigs, just 3. The same was if you bought this disc version, it was a 3 gig preload and you had to download the packs separately. Which was kind of a silly idea because most people like to download it, the game and at 30 gigs it's not that big, big a game. And if you take GTA 5 for instance, it was nearly 80 gigs. That's huge in compared to this thing. So, midnight, April 14th, comes and goes. Nothing. You can load up the game, you can load up the menus, and, you, and it, it was a lovely menu, just like this one right now. But you couldn't do anything. You could change the graphic settings, you could play around with a few options, but nothing else happened. No download packs appeared. Hum a humongous barrage of hatred. Hatred all over the, from the Steam forums, the Steam review system. I mean, the reviews were hilarious to watch this. Oh, and it's frozen. To watch these, uh, this sort of menu simulator thing. This is really off-putting, sorry. <laughs> Why is it frozen? No! Of hatred saying, oh, it's a fantastic game. Yeah, you can play for three hours just playing around with menu settings. Ugh. I'm going to have to fix this now, aren't I? Yep, it's crashed. <laughs> I'll get to that as well. So, fact was, the game didn't do anything, the packs didn't download, and so on and so forth. Q, the, official, the unofficial official word from Netherrealm was that it's not actually out yet. So, why, what are you complaining about? So, the thing was, people were saying, well, yes, it is out. It's April 14th. It should be out by now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be silly. It's not out at all. Say Netherrealm. But it is on Steam and something cocked up basically. The packs weren't available, the game wasn't there, it wasn't working. And it wasn't until late afternoon, in England at least, that it was actually working, working. Now I'm going to keep it going here. And I actually downloaded most of the packs, not all of them, so you couldn't actually play the single player campaign until about 6 o'clock p.m. 6 p.m. GMT. So, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest either. <laughs> so, in the end, you know, it was, a, it was a bad release. A really bad release for the PC version. You know, PlayStation, Xbox, got it, you know, could have played from midnight onwards. We couldn't. Now, they have made up for it a little bit. They have said, here's 10,000 combat coins for everybody. We're really sorry. Here's a new patch for it. And I thought, great, a patch for the game. That'll fix everything. No, it doesn't. 
it doesn't fix most things. If you notice this, this little wireless setting out here, the wireless controller setting, you click on that, game crashes. And it has done from day one. So you can't change some things. Now there's a workaround for it, we use the keyboard, but that's still stupid. And the patch itself was 15 gigs. 15 gigs, it's half the size of the actual game. What the fuck did they break to, and need a patch that, that required 15 gigs to do it? My guess is they just replaced a load of models and stuff to make them all look a bit better and use different formats. But that's just my opinion, I've got no clue. Anyway, I've waffled on long enough. I'm gonna jump into this game because I'm on the clock, you know. I haven't got much time to do this stuff. Having a new son does mean a lot, does mean a lot of things has to be streamlined and cut down so I'm going to stop talking, split the part and I'll come right back. <laughs> 